Hi, my name is Essi. Welcome to the Nota World. One of the fascinating applications here is a distributed flight simulator system. It's based on the work of Jetro Lauha and ported to the Nota platform here at Tampere University of Technology. Let's go and have a look. Hi Petri. Petri. Uh, could you explain us a little bit how the flight simulator works? Hello. Well, it seems like he's very excited about flying. But don't worry, I can explain you how the flight simulator works. Follow me. Okay, here we are. Network on Terminal Architecture is a service-based architecture for mobile and embedded devices. In Nota applications we have two types of nodes. First of all, service nodes. A service node could be a camera, for example. And application nodes. That's something that's visible for the user. And in, in the application there can be any number of nodes. So Nota is the communication platform that the nodes use. We have two different types of communication. We can have data stream, that could be audio or video for example, and communication messages. And now we're going to take a closer look at the communication between two nodes. As you can see, it's a layered architecture. The core of Nota consists of high interconnect and the low interconnect. High interconnect provides an API for the activation, discovery and access of services. Low interconnect adapts the high interconnect to the underlying communication mechanism, for example USB, Bluetooth, TCP IP or FIFO. Next, we're going to see how the flight simulator was implemented using NOTA. Traditionally, flight simulators are centralized, but our flight simulator built on top of NOTA has been distributed. The NOTA application contains three nodes. The flight simulator is controlled with the Wii mode that is attached to the Wii mode service node via Bluetooth. The service node then sends commands to the client that can send graphic commands to the graphic server. The computations have been distributed, so the graphic server and the Wiimote are running on a Linux PC and the client is running on, a, an, on an internet tablet. The flexibility of Nota platform allows you to add functionality to your application very easily. For example, we could have a file server and an audio server. This way, the client could request for audio services and the file server could send an audio stream to the audio server. So far, these service nodes are uncompleted, but since adding functionality to Nota is so easy, these could easily be added by anybody. For example, by you.